just pure dead weight. Pure dead weight. Also, you see that water tile over there? Um, as a water tile, we can actually walk on that. Um, so, in case we need to get around somewhere, that's just an extra option that we have. I should have used bubble in that sleeping shroomish, but oh well. Lollipers are surprisingly big though. Bigger than Scythers, which you know are pretty intimidating. Especially since it's got a sword above its head. Oh god, what does that mean? It's using focus energy, so whatever. Uh, the problem with being a water type though, um, oh actually, there's also lava in the game. And uh what's the name? Fire types can walk on lava. But the problem is if you're a fire type about to walk up to lava or a water type about to walk up to water, the game will um, also that's another problem I'll get into there, the switching teammates thing. Uh, that's me just sh uh, showing off that I can walk on water, that's it. Um, what's the name? The game will constantly, because you've seen the run, what I'm doing right there, the run, where I can quickly zoom through the area. This game would be unplayable without that. Um, the thing is, it will always make you stop running. Or it'll always make you stop and just look around, or just, you know, stop and halt your tracks to show you that, hey, you know, now there's something you can do here. So, for example, if I run to the end here, I can go out, it'll tell me, it, it'll stop me because I'm about to go into a big room, so maybe I want to change my direction. Um, if I run up to the stairs, it'll stop me because it's letting me know that, you know, you can walk up the stairs. So, yeah. The thing is, it also does that with any sort of tiles that you can walk on. So it constantly stops me when I'm walking over water, so it stops me there. Just to let me know that I can go on that water. And there's Whooper. <laughs> Whooper looks amazing in this game, look at him. It. Um, but yeah, it's pretty annoying because there's water tiles all over the place in this game. Not so bad with uh, lava tiles, but also, you want to be careful that you don't get separated from your partner by doing so, because ugh, getting separated from your partner is not good. You can manually do it. You can set your partner's tactics to uh, separate or look for treasure or fight enemies or get away or whatever, um, which will make them not stay with you. But generally, you want to always have them walking with you because, as I said, they can deal with enemies on their own, but... Uh, they are much weaker than you are, and they will take a lot more damage, which is annoying. So, yeah. It can be a bit of a liability. So, I th we get to the end of the dungeon here. I think there's... Uh, 11 floors, 10 floors, I don't know, something like that. I don't think there's 10, I think there's 11 or 12. So, yeah, we got a, we got a little bit to go before the end here. Oh yeah, any sleeping Pokemon, uh, you walk on a tile that's right next to them, they will wake up. Um, I guess because they hear your footsteps and they wake up. So you can completely avoid them if you want, and just go around them. So, 10th floor. No, this isn't it. Spawn right next to the stairs, which is nice. Um, for the final dungeon, because there really isn't any point in fighting Pokemon in the final dungeon, um, you will get, you know, some experience, but... It can, the, don the dungeon is so long and such a gauntlet that there really isn't any point in fighting anything you don't have to. Because if you can get through that dungeon, you can fight the final boss. You're fine. Um, but uh, yeah, for the final dungeon, I'll just be going straight for the stairs, every single floor, because it's it's such, such a gauntlet, it's just, it's it's a little too long, I'd say. Um, it is a good challenge, but, hmm, 
I know a lot of uh, um, younger people couldn't beat this game uh, just because the final dungeon alone was too difficult. I couldn't beat this game. Um, I don't know if I ever got to the final dungeon, but... I uh, certainly know that it wasn't easy. So anyway, gonna snipe this slack off. Not take it down, unfortunately. Um, it is still a slack off that does have. It is pretty physically strong, despite it still having truant. You know, it can only attack every second turn. Um, still has a decent amount of damage, so it must be the twelfth floor where the boss fight is. is this darkness mechanic coming into play again. See, so yeah, I don't know if I'm actually ever gonna continue Let's Playing the Mainline Pokemon series, um, because, uh, what's the name? Diamond and Pearl is just... Uh, well, the thing is, I don't have a DS capture card or 3DS capture card at all. If I did, I could record up to Gen 7. I can record Gen 8 for what's that for what that's worth, but um, because you know that's console. But as for Gen 4 to 7, I can't record that um, with a capture card, unfortunately. But um. Obviously, you know, you'd say, well then just emulate it, because you already own the games, just emulate. Um, yeah, but the thing is, I really want to be able to constantly keep transferring my team down um, throughout the mainline games, you know. Uh, so, say for example, the Gen 3 team, I could bring those into Diamond and Pearl once I'm done with uh, the main game, and do what I did with Gen 2 and Kanto, and have both Gen and one, uh, Gen, that both Gen one and Gen two Pokemon with me um, throughout the uh, Kanto portion of the game, and I can't do that unless I'm willing to do something like Poke Gen, which artificially creates Pokemon that you can put in and make them identical to what they were. But yeah, I don't know about that. Also, I guess it's thirteen floors, huh? Yeah, so I don't know. Plus, mainline, mainline Pokemon games are so long. I'm, I know that <laughs> I'm, I'm a little tired of long JRPGs. I've, that's for the past two years. I've just been playing so, so many of them. Um, I'm kind of tired of JRPGs. This doesn't count. <laughs> this game is different enough to where it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's Mystery Dungeon, not strictly JRPG. It's very fast. You still have to worry about stats, though, a little bit, so... But I feel it's different enough. It's more of a dungeon crawler... ...than a uh, JRPG to me. Um... But, uh, yeah, Diamond and Pearl, I... ...would have been fun, but... oh well. Uh, we're almost done with this dungeon, we're almost up to the uh, boss. Another Max Elixir, perfect. Yeah, you only ever find Max Elixirs, you don't find Ethers, um, Max Ethers, or Elixirs, or any of that. You always find Max Elixirs, which are good. It's the best you can possibly find, you can always find them. So that's good. I'm kind of scared of this slack off though, it's doing a lot of damage. Before I move, the, uh, move up to the next floor, I'm obviously I'm just going to sit here and recover health. I recommend doing that. Is uh, once you find the stairs and you're a little low on health, uh, before you move up to the next floor, just sort of uh, sit around and recover your health a bit. Um, because if a few Pokemon or a Pokemon that comes in uh, comes into the room and you don't want to deal with them or you can't deal with them, you can just go to the next floor and uh, ignore them completely. Anyway, up to the 13th floor. 
with this beautiful soft pine. Wonder if Metapod's ahead. Hold it right there. You know who's going to get to Metapod first? We are. So for you to go ahead, well, we can't let that happen. Hey, Gengar, why do you always mess with us? Oh, didn't we tell you? Our aim is world domination. Caterpie's mama will give us a very generous reward, and Caterpie will join us too. That brings us closer to our goal. I thought I said that will bring us closer to God. <laughs> Your party's over right here and now. Alright, so now we've got to fight Team Meanies, and they're not too tough. There's three of them, but things could be worse. So we've got Medicham, Gengar, and Ekans to deal with. Gengar is evidently going to be the worst, seeing as he's the leader. Um, or the worst to deal with, really. The other two really aren't that bad. Um, I, I don't know if there's an order that you really want to take care of them in. Um, well, Gengar can be pretty bad with Curse, which lowers your HP over, um, over time, so... Medicham's done, and it does a decent amount of damage. It does wear off, though, naturally. And, uh, I guess, yeah, Ekans can poison as well, so that's not good. Unfortunately, I still have Henry set to use Leah. Um, so let's fix that. Uh, this water gun here and take it out this turn, nice. So you see, Henry did absorb, which wasn't very effective against um, Ekans, but it still did a decent amount of damage. 20 damage isn't too bad. So Gengar shouldn't be too bad after that. Seriously, withdraw is pretty, pretty helpful. Um, sort of underestimated how helpful it could be. There we go. It takes care of that. Ow, wow, wow. You'll pay for this, don't you forget it. I love this song, this is so nice. No one should hold us back now. Let's find Metapod. Um, excuse me. Did you maybe come looking for me? I don't understand why Silcoon and Cascoon can't move, but Metapod can. I was scared, so I kept my shell hardened and waited and waited. Thank you. Ah, right, there we go. But I don't have any money. Oh, no, no, no. We don't need a reward. Happy to see the Metapod's back safe and sound. You're even more cool than I thought. Should it be cool? I want to go on rescues when I grow up. That'd be great. Chase that dream. I have an idea. Why, see, we should do something with this place. We should make a proper rescue team base here. Something impressive. A rescue team base is cool. I want to work here when I grow up. Me too. That's what we'll do. Let's work hard and build our own rescue team base. YT and Henry, thank you again. Okay, bye. Be careful going on. <laughs> I understand I probably should sit like... Okay, bye. But, well, we ended up working for free, but that was the right thing to do. And we got to show Gengar's team a thing too, so it's all good. It was a tiring day. Let's do some more good tomorrow. Anyway, there we go. Um, but that's going to do it for this recording session, uh, everyone. So, uh, the next morning. Uh, yeah, this was this recording session in, so uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll see you guys then.